As a police officer and as an African American, I can feel sympathy for both of them. I can love both groups, but I wanted to basically show both sides. This is my big tribute to the Black Lives Matter movement. I did it in white. People say, why didn't you do it in black? No, I want to do it in white. So I just thought that it would be easier to see it in white than, than in black. Being a police officer hasn't affected me. It's kept my head above the art world. I'm still more of a cop in many ways than I am an artist. I still kind of lean more towards police officers than I do artists. I like to call myself a civil rights baby. My father was a civil rights leader in New Jersey. I was fortunate enough, because of what my father did, to have met many of the greats like William Kunstler, and Dick Gregory, and Malcolm X. And that whole crowd was around my house growing up. It left a big impact on who I am and what I do now. I was the first African-American composite sketch artist in the nation. I did composites all throughout the state of New Jersey. I wound up doing over a 1,000 composites. Later on, I became a detective. I was a police officer for 19, 20 years. I, I took an early retirement after my wife passed away. I knew I had to raise my kids. I already was teaching at art school. I already had a gallery, too, so I just, it wasn't like I was taking a big chance. This is actually a memorial that I made to police officers that have been killed in the last couple of years. If you see a lot of my work is black and white, everything's black and white. You're either ultra liberal or ultra conservative, and there's nothing in the middle. I love slip casting. I don't like uh, mold making is another universe. You know, I'm used to bending things and breaking things, and my hands will never get into the way that I can. I'm not delicate, it's just too delicate for me, and nerve wracking. But slip casting, oh, pfft. I had this whole place. I could do it all day long and all night. The genius of, of this program is that it gets into your soul after a while, and you get into a flow, and you get into it, and you know, as bad as I want to get on to my grandkids and kids, I don't, at the same time, I'm going to, you know, miss getting up and pour and slip every day.